Hi, my name is Antoinette Griffin, and I am coming to you from Las Vegas as I prepare to speak at an annual conference. And I'm thinking of back to the last time I was here was 23 years ago when the iconic Sands Hotel was being demolished to rubble. And a lot of these hotels had not even been thought of, much less built at that point. The Las Vegas Strip looks a lot different. My life looks a lot different, and I'm sure yours does too. Some of the dreams that we had 23 years ago, our lives look totally different today. And so what I'm gonna to talk to you about is what to do when your dream starts to fade and you kinda of don't know what's next, where to look. You see, 23 years ago, I had just landed my dream job back in Austin, and it was going to be working for a well-known, well-respected company. I was so excited. But after six months of being on this job, I hated it. I was a daily ball of stress. In fact, I secretly envied the plant lady. You know who I'm talking about. The lady that comes into the office building to water the plants. I would watch her and think, that looks like a really low stress job that I would enjoy. But I kept my thoughts to myself because I was in this coveted position that I was supposed to cherish. Have you ever been in that situation where you get into this thing that was supposed to be your dream and, and you're thinking, this is not what I thought it was going to be like. And it can be an odd place to be. But John Maxwell teaches behind every door of opportunity lies another door. Let me tell you a little bit about what that looks like. Even though I hated that job, that job equipped me to take another role in the company where I would speak and write content, two things that I absolutely love. And so I thought, well, this is it. Now I have my dream job. And I did that for a couple years, but there were certain aspects of that job that I did not enjoy. And my husband's entrepreneurial spirit called out to me. And so I left that company and we started a publishing business. But, the skills that I acquired with that company really helped build me up for success as an entrepreneur in that publishing business. So you see what happens is whenever you're in the middle of a dream and it starts to fade and there's that kind of scary feeling of going, I don't know what's next. This was supposed to be my dream. It probably was supposed to be your dream for that season of life. And now it just means you're entering a new season of life. And so you can pursue a new dream. But the stuff that you've done before is not to be wasted. You can capitalize on that. That was your door leading to the next opportunity. And go and use those skills that you've mastered because behind that door is going to be another door of opportunity. So don't despair. After my publishing business, I then started doing coaching and public speaking, and my skills that I acquired as an entrepreneur helped me in my business today as an executive coach and to be able to speak to businesses who ha are trying to run a business, stuff that I have now experience doing. So everything is of value, and know that behind every door of opportunity, lies another door. So look at the door that's open, go through it because there's going to be other opportunities that are going to be your next dream.